What is good, boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the first episode of 2023. Uh, how insane is that? Another year done and dusted, and we're into the new year, just like that. So, basically, you'll be all pretty familiar with where we are up to with the Project Skyline. Um, we've got it running, driving, it all basically does everything that it needs to do. Uh, I have now just been doing possibly the most pain stakingly part uh, which is the body works uh, it's essentially where we had the rivets in the rear quarters basically the only panels that we couldn't replace because I wasn't too keen to cut the quarters off and put new ones of them on uh, so we've got to fill out all the rivet holes so this is what we're dealing with at the moment um, this is the side that I am currently working on obviously it looks like shit I put a skimmer bowl on it last night just try to fill it all out uh, but basically, some of you will remember, but there were rivets holes all the way along. And there were actually rivet holes right the way down the whole bloody thing. Uh, but we replaced every panel on it, and now we're left with these. So this, this is the finish side at least, I'll show you that. So this is basically what we're dealing with. Um, this was the, the hardest, the harder side, I should say, because it had the gas tank, and they were all around the gas tank as well so very very annoying and uh even this side still is actually isn't finished but uh it's looking a shitload better than it was so so i haven't really been filming it uh one i'm not actually that good at it and i get quite frustrated because it's quite a meticulous job i mean a lot of people will say it's easy piece of piss you just sand and bog sand and bog but i'm quite impatient i like results quick and don't really get results that quick when you're doing this shit so um, I did actually film but a little bit of it, but I'm not going to put it in because no one really cares. Like, just doing bog and bog and filling. So that's basically where we're up to with that car. Uh, while we still wait for parts for the Red Skyline, so uh, you will, some of you remember RB20 number three, I believe it is. That's on the way. Um, so we're still waiting for parts of that, but I'm quite keen to get into it. To be fair, because boring car things are sort of not very fun anymore so kind of got this thing to a point where I'm nearly done with it now and I just need to get it finished and painted and uh and she's gonna leave she, I'm gonna sell it because uh it's just the state of it um it'll just be better to put the money back into this to the red skyline and uh we will be good uh, I decided it'll be a far better use of money to just put the Money that I can get from this back into the red car, make this kind of super gangster, and then eventually I'll get another one again is the plan to actually make a street car. Um, whether I'm not too sure what state it'll be in, but that's later down the track. I don't know when. The main focus is the red car, make super gangster, make work, do everything that I've always wanted to do to it. Uh, that's what's going to be happening later. Well, hopefully not too later, but later after this thing's gone. So, so that's what's happening in Skyline News. Uh, but there actually has been far more interesting things happening outside of the garage. So I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier or not, but I sold the Primera. Uh, it was always kind of the, the move or the goal to uh, to get a ute, get something a little bit more, more, more robust, you might call it, a little bit more general purpose. Uh, because if you get more than two people in the Primera, then it just scrapes and small family, car parts, various things, doesn't really work that well. So. And also my partner sold her previous Audi, which was the Audi A4, a little white number. Uh, so that's gone. And these are the replacements. new Ranger uh, it's a 2008 turbo diesel three liter turbo diesel Ranger a uh, little bit of a, a older model but uh, this is basically I thought was gonna be perfect for my sort of first step into the ute world uh, the old canopy's a bit dusty there but don't mind that oh uh, I'll get to that eventually uh, and this is my partner's new Audi Q7 which is super sick if I don't say so myself um, we were quite fortunate in the fact that 
Uh, we're both selling our cars at the same time and we both made a thing together uh, to, we basically made a pact to both get black cars because they're like, well, we can, uh, there's enough black ones on the market to get the colors that we wanted. So that's what we did and now we just look like a drug dealer family. But uh, the Audi. Yeah, this thing is insane. Like we had the white A4 wagon before and I thought that was flash and then we got this and it's just like all this little shit. Like the, obviously it's all push to start, windows go out, screen pops up. Um, it's like turbo, turbo diesel, three liter V6. It's like 220 kilowatt or something. Um, and it's just massive, like it's a lounge in here. So, super dope piece of kit. And my favorite part of the whole thing, it's got adjustable, adjustable air suspension. So you can choose whatever height you want and it goes up and it goes down and I can feel it doing that right now. And then so, if you want to have it at comfort, you press that, does some weird shit. And then if you go dynamic, this is my favorite part. It lowers it. So that's naturally at the height that I have it at, at all times. Um, but there's just heaps of little quirky shit, like the lane assist and et cetera, it's full leather seats. It's like seven seats. The back two seven, the back two seats are fully electric. So you don't have to like lift them up. Madness, crazy car. And then we have this glorious thing. <laughs> um, not quite as glamorous, but just as sick. Of course, it's gonna be locked, but there's not much to see inside the old girl anyway, but what would be the first thing that one would do when someone buys a ute like this? Obviously, it needs wheels, doesn't it? So, big wheel guy, big, everything has to be slammed on wheels uh, until I bought a ute and realized that maybe it's not the best idea to slam the ute, but it didn't stop me from uh, going a little bit crazy on the wheels. So, <laughs> disclaimer, I went to the mag shop, I went there and I tried to be normal, like what everyone else does, and I looked at the mags on the walls, and I thought to myself, they look like shit, <laughs> basically. Nothing wrong with them, not shit. That's a harsh call, but basically it's the wheels that everyone else has on their utes. Um, Lenzo, RTCs, All Terrain. There's like five different real common ones that every single Ranger owner basically has. And I just I, I just kind of thought maybe that's, that's just not for me. So a few sessions on the old Yahoo later, these are what we ended up with. And before you think that they're blue, they're not blue at all, it's just another dope new thing to the shed, uh, which you may have noticed, the neon sign. So my partner got me that for my birthday, which was recently. Uh, but these are basically shadow chrome. So the shadow chrome, uh, obviously genuine Rays DRXs, DRXs. So they're pretty much what everyone else has on their Ranger, but in genuine form, if that makes sense. So like, I'm sure that if you're people out there that, um, uh, little bitches for wheels uh, like myself then you can kind of see that they look pretty similar but they're we'll say just a little bit more expensive <laughs> I'm not going to go into how much they were but if you look them up and you find out and do your homework then you'll you'll soon see but they're probably like I probably could have got three sets for what these cost to put in not not three sets no nah, maybe two sets two sets of other wheels whatever this is what we got they're 18 by 9, they're plus 20, and I got them just before Christmas, and the tyres have finally arrived. So today, that's actually what we're going to go do. We're going to go do the first modification to the ute, which is pretty dope. Uh, I'm fucking excited about it because I've been waiting forever. Turns out that tyres for utes and ATs, I'm new, I'm new to the term, AT tyres, very expensive. So whatever, we're going to load them up, head over town, head across town. Get that sorted. Check back soon.
که زوبار رفت Looking pretty damn sick, boys. That's how you transform a shit ute. Well, that was a bloody bizarre state of affairs. Uh, a bit of a story. Uh, children turned up, uh, and the guy was like, he's like, oh yeah, we're gonna be about an hour, mate. We're gonna be about an hour. And I was like, what? You, you told me to come here at a specific time so you can do it. I thought I was just gonna be able to watch the whole thing be done, but. Uh, that's not what the case was at all. He's like, I oh, just go for a walk, just go for a walk. I was like, oh, sweet, all good. There's a super cheap nearby. Went for a walk to super cheap. Uh, and then, what do you know, it starts raining. So I was like, oh, shit. All right, well, I'll, uh, conveniently, there's a pub next to the super cheap. So I was like, oh, well, naturally, I'll go to the pub, um, sink a few pints, and then uh, within that time, it didn't actually stop raining. Luckily, I knew someone at the pub, and I said, hey, mate, you reckon you can, uh, you can probably whip me back? And he's like, what do you mean? And uh, um, I sort of had to explain. Uh, but then we got there in the end. So now, after all that, a couple of beers deep, um, we are on the way home. So uh, we'll get back there, and we'll actually have a proper look at it. Hopefully it's not raining by then. So see you then. All right, boys, so we're back. We're back in the shed. And we are finally getting to see a first proper look at the ute with the wheels. Um, it's funny how it goes. I didn't really think it was going to look like this. Uh, I think I'm still adjusting. Definitely definitely like them. Um, but it's just different to how I pictured it. So, so here is the first proper look at the wheels since I've been home. There's no doubt about it, that is absolutely one quick way, a pretty expensive way, but a good quick way to make a, uh, I don't want to say shit ute, uh, but relatively, what would you call it, mid, mid-spec, mid-spec ute, uh, to, to look pretty sharp. So um, it is awfully being the question to, I know I said I wasn't going to, but maybe just a minor, a little, a little body drop, or maybe maybe two inches, um, the go with these these kind of utes as you've got like blocks in them because they've got leaf springs in the back and they've got torsion bar front style suspension. So that's uh, possibly what I'm going to do there. Um, we'll start with two inch anyway because I think that's the legal limit here in New Zealand, uh, which might just give it like, I think it's about 50 mil or something. So just a little bit because it's kind of kind of monster truck at the moment. But the next hurdle to attack will be trying to get this thing all finished and painted up so i probably won't really do a video on this until i get it to that stage uh because i think this is quite boring kind of content uh so i won't pain you with that uh, but for the reminder for those that haven't seen it this is basically what she is uh rb25 de pretty i want to say relatively straight car now uh 
But another thing that I have got for the red cart in the meantime is a full BN kit. So there's a, I want to say full BN, but it's actually a Urus style front bar. It was floating around on that car for a while there. Um, I kind of had it all mocked up, but that's kind of the style that I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to pull this, the remainder of what those side skirts are there off. I've just been doing some glass repairs on these. There's a bumper over here, which is pretty dusty. Um, but I have been fixing that with these wet days. Give that a lick of paint. Uh, and then just play around with this thing, I think, because uh, it's not really painting weather outside. So I guess that will be maybe in the next coming week, while I still got some time off work, we'll have a play with that. But that will pretty much wrap it up for this one anyway. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time for more Skyline content. Cheers.